This video was actually prompted by an email that I received from one of our viewers, and I'm just going to read the email to you. The email goes like this. I'm sorry to bother you. You said in the video we can email. She says, I'm 53 years old, a single mom of three. I've got no education, so I only sell real estate in the Dominican Republic. I'm deeply depressed. I'm living off very little money. I want to start a new life. She says, please give me an idea. And she says, thank you. And first, I'm, I'm actually very humbled that she uh, wrote me and asked me for help. Um, number one, that takes... Um, it takes a lot for a person to just reach out and say, I need help. I, I can't do this on my own. And, and I give her a lot of credit for reaching out. And what I'm going to try to do with with this young uh, with this woman, this 53-year-old woman, is I'm going to go ahead and, and email her back, which I've done a few times now. We're going to set up a Zoom call and we're going to talk. But I thought what I would do with this video is just share with you some of the things that I'm going to be saying to her because I think they're very applicable to many of you out there who are older, who are thinking it's time to start over. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, either you, you don't have any money and you lost your job and it's time to start over, or maybe you got a job and you just can't stand that place. You just know you got to get out and it's time to start over and you're trying to figure out what to do. So in this video, I'm going to just do my best to just to give you the advice, suggestions, stuff that I know works because... These same things, the same things I'm going to be suggesting, the same steps, they worked for me. I'm going to tell you what those steps are. And that, my friends, that's up next right here on Over 50 TV. Welcome back to Over 50 TV. My name is Lou Reyes. Well, first of all, what I want to do is just thank you for joining us here today on, on Over 50 TV. And as I mentioned before the break, what I'm going to be doing is really just kind of outlining, uh, giving you some steps on how to start over. And I mentioned I mentioned right uh, right in the beginning of the, of the intro here, these are steps that I've taken myself to, to start over. And I've done that more than once in my career. And I can tell you that the steps I'm going to be outlining for you here today, they're steps that I know will work. It just depends on whether or not you want to walk the walk. And a lot of people, as we know, will talk the talk. But let's let's walk the walk here today. So first, what I want to do, though, is I do want to mention that in the description box of this video, I do have a link to my free, absolutely free cover letter. It's a cover letter that hiring managers can't resist. I put this cover letter together after doing a lot of research. Plus, I've hired hundreds of people in my career for some of my companies. I've interviewed at least 10 times that many. So... I've seen a lot of cover letters, as you can only imagine. Now, another thing I want to mention is that in the description box of this video is also a link to a free career aptitude test. And this test is courtesy of Career Fitter. Their test is 60 questions long. It takes about 10 minutes or so to complete. But once you're finished with the test, it will help guide you to a career, a career that fits your personality and your skill set. Check out the link in the description box. So now let's jump into our topic, which is how to start over. But I'm going to add something to that statement. I'm going to say how to start over and build a great life. And the reason that I've added and build a great life is based on a quote, a quote that I read from Tony Robbins. And I'm going to read this quote to you. He says this. He says, if you want to change your life, change the quality of the questions you ask yourself. And then he says, so don't ask yourself, what can I do to turn my life around? Ask yourself, what can I do to make my life greater? And I think many of us, when we are in a situation where it is especially difficult and we're trying to figure out what to do, all we say is this. We say, I just want to turn things around. I just want to make things better. But go a step above. And this is what Mr. Robbins, what Tony is saying, and, and I wholeheartedly agree. Instead of saying, how, do I can, make, how can I make this better? Say, so how can I make my life greater? How can I go above and beyond and really, really live a great life? 
So there are some steps that I've outlined. The step number one is to stabilize. Step number two is deciding, deciding what is what it is that you want. And then it's plan, you know, coming up with that plan. And then the, the last step four. Step four is what I always say is to take action or to execute on your plan. So let's go ahead and let's start with that step number one, which I just said is stabilize. So when I say stabilize, what I'm saying is this. There are two things that we all should do whenever we're trying to make a big decision and we know we want to make a big decision, especially when it's a decision that involves our finances and our career. Number one is stabilize your financial position or situation. If you've got a job, you're financially secure, it gives you the freedom, it gives you the peace of mind that you can really sit down and think about the other three steps. But if you don't have those finances, if you're somebody who doesn't have the money, doesn't have the ability to make payments on on the monthly bills, well, taking a job, a full-time job, finding a full-time job or multiple part-time jobs, if that's what it takes, but stabilize your financial situation so that you do have the energy to take the other steps, the energy to go forward. But stabilizing your, your finances is so important. Now, number two, though, is to stabilize or make sure that your personal life is stable. And sometimes we do have people in our life that may be holding us back, literally holding us back for whatever reason. And maybe they don't intend to do it, but that's not the point. Stabilizing your personal life. If you've got chaos in your personal life, if there's stress in your personal life, you can't go forward. You can't move forward. Step number two is to decide what you want. Be firm. Firmly understand what you want out of your life, what you want for your life, and maybe even decide what you want for your family. When you decide what you want, and I'm speaking specifically of deciding what you want in your life, I'm not saying decide what I want in my paycheck a week from now or a month from now. I I want 10% more. Or I'm not saying to decide, well, I've got to put food on the table. How can I do that? I'm, I've decided I'm going to put food on that table. I'm saying go beyond that. Think more long term. Think about where you really could be, where you want to be, where you know you can be, where you know you should be if you just decided that you were going to get there. Because once you decide, once in your heart, Once in your heart, you know, this is what I want. This is what's right for me. Then I believe, I believe you'll get the energy and you'll get the drive to to go forward. So to me, it's deciding what you want. And when you decide what you want, then you get that energy and you get that drive. But when you truly decide when it's in your heart, that's when you'll move forward. Step number three, plan. And when you are deciding, when you sit down and you say, okay, now I've got to plan this out, what I suggest you do is take a piece of paper, don't go on your computer, take a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper and put an A for Apple, whatever you want to call it, and then you put B. And you put these about so many inches apart, and then you draw a straight line from A to B. And that is the road you're taking. You're taking a direct road to your plan. There's not going to be any cutoffs. You're not going to take a little break here or there. Maybe there'll be a stop or two, which there's no question there will be. But you put an A and a B on a piece of paper and you draw a straight line and you say, okay, this is my plan. I'm going straight for that goal and I'm going to hit that goal. I'm going to achieve my goal. And then what you do is you sit down. As you look at that A and B, you look at what options. What do I got to do to get there? What are the options? What do I have to do to reach my goal? And sometimes what you have to do, what you should do, what you need to do is, yeah, you got to take some courses. Or maybe you say take some other kind of training. Or maybe you take a job or two, what I always call bridge jobs, where you take a job to get some skills in the field you want to be in. Say you want to be an accountant. You don't have the CPA, you don't have that that degree. So what you do is you get in, you get a job as a, or you take a course, bookkeeping course, you you become a bookkeeper, you learn the the trade, you learn the craft. And while you're doing that, you're going ahead and you're taking the courses so you can get your degree in accounting or whatever it is. And I'm obviously not many of you or some of you out there may not look at accounting as your career. I'm not saying it should be, but I'm saying It has an example of the steps that you're going to take. Decide what you want. Do an A and a B. 
I'm going to get there by taking these steps. This is what I'm going to do. I'll be at some stops along the way, but I am not going to take a month off of my plan. I'm not taking six months off my plan. I'm not waiting until my son graduates from college. I'm not going to wait till my wife retires because I've heard that, uh, that excuse so many times. My wife or husband, once they retire, Lou, then I can do, I can live the life I want to live. No, no big long stops along the way, A to B. So now we're in step four. And step four means you've completed step one, which is you've stabilized. You stabilize your personal life to the best of your ability. You've stabilized your financial life, at least to the point where you're able to pay your bills. You've got that job. You feel comfortable enough that you're not so stressed out that everything you're thinking about, every waking moment, you're worried. No, you've stabilized. And once you've done the stabilization portion, then what you've done or what you've done is then you've decided. You've decided what you want. You've decided where you see you're going to be. You decided where you want to be, where you need to be, where you're going to be. And after you've done that, then what you do is you just come up with your plan. You come up with your plan and then you say, okay, this is A, this is B. I know how I'm going to get there. I know the road I need to take. I know what the options are. So now you've got that out of the way. And now step four, yes, you're going to go ahead. And what you're going to do is you're going to take action. What I sometimes say is you're going to execute. You're going to execute on that plan. But taking action is the most critical thing that you can do. If you do nothing else, if you do nothing else, take action. And take action is the most critical thing that anyone can do. I have seen so many people be successful just because they took action. They've said, I've had enough. And then they just went down that road and they went down that road and they kept traveling. No matter how many bumps in the road they hit, no matter how many stops they had to take or were forced to take, they took action and eventually they hit their goal. That's all I got for you today. I did mention there is a free career aptitude test, a link to a free career aptitude test. It's in the description box. I also have my free cover letter. And it's a really a five-sentence cover letter that I created. I did a lot of research. I've got a lot of experience with, with cover letters and resumes from people who have submitted them to me. So what I did is I just put it all together and I present to you a cover letter that hiring managers can't resist. Check it out. The link is in the description box. Again, that's all I got for you today. If you do have any questions, if you have any questions whatsoever, I always encourage you to make a comment on the videos. Um, if you need to, you want to, you're always welcome to send me an email. All right, my friends, that's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah.